Hey guys, welcome back to Make or Break. I know you're wondering probably where Sarah is. Sarah, unfortunately, is at home sick today. But because I'm a terrible mean boss, I went ahead and sent her a laptop and a microphone over so she could record her voiceover for this project, which was important because she did the project this week. Anyways, here's Sarah. Hey guys, so sorry I couldn't be in the studio to shoot today, but I was glad that I got to be in the shop this week to work on these shelves. These are another commission from Rob's wife, Jen. She asked us to make these shelves to hang from rope on the wall. To start off, I had to cut some scrap we had from the date nook we built and cut them down to three shelf sizes Jen asked for, 23, 17, and 15 inches. Once I made my marks, I used the miter saw to cut them to size. To hang these up with rope, I was going to have to drill a quarter inch hole in each corner. So I used a square to mark each one and then drilled holes using a scrap piece underneath to cut down on tear out. Now these planks were rough cut on one side, which again, Jen liked them that way, so I didn't sand them down. With the holes drilled out, I started painting the underside of each one black and left the top natural. This was going to give the shelves a nice contrast to the wall when you see the underside. When that was dry, I also applied a coat of lacquer on both sides, but I forgot to film that. Next, I measured out the rope. So the plan was to use a single piece for each side of the shelf, which would allow me to adjust the shelf from front to back to get it level once we hung it on the wall. The hooks would be on the wall, meaning the front of the shelf would be further away and need more rope. This just made it easier to hang. Once I got them cut, I taped up the ends to get them through the holes. Before I finished the other shelves, I wanted to hang this first one on the wall to make sure Jen liked the length. So I had Rob grab some of these hooks that we had left over from another project, and he put an extra one in our drill. That allowed him to use the drill to get the hooks into the studs. Next, we drilled a pilot hole into the stud and screwed in the hook, and Jen liked the way it looked, so we went back down to the shop to figure out the brass sleeves. We ended up getting to use the new Hart battery-powered glue gun, and that thing is awesome. After we'd slide on the brass sleeve, we used the glue gun to apply a little bit of glue on the end of the rope, and then slide the brass piece onto the end. When the brass parts dried, we took the shelves upstairs and let Jen do her decorating thing, and here's how they turned out. So beautiful. This style of shelf does require you to balance the items that you put on it, but for the most part, they were really easy to level. What a cool use of some scrap wood. Thank you, Sarah. Please feel better. Guys, thank you so much for joining us again. I appreciate it. I want to thank Hart for sponsoring this episode and reminding us that we can build anything we can imagine if we do it with Hart. All right, break's over. Go make something. <laughs>